Hello and welcome to the first episode of making a texture pack for Java Edition. In this video we're going to get the files and programs necessary to create a texture pack. I'll list all the programs you need on the screen now. The first program to install is 7-zip. We'll be using 7-zip to extract and zip up the resource pack. The next program is paint.net. We'll be using this to create all the textures. The third program to install is Notepad++. We'll be using this to create animations and other things related to code for the texture pack. I will leave all the download links in the description. Now once you have all these programs, it's time to create the texture pack. So to get started, all you have to do is go down to search, and type in percent app data percent. This will come up with a file, so just open that. Go to .minecraft. Then go down to versions. Now here you'll be able to choose what version of Minecraft you want the texture pack to be in. Now this does require you to play the game first in order for the folder to come up. So if you want to make a pack in 1.7, you have to play in 1.7. But since I haven't done that, 1.7 doesn't come up in here. But since I'll be making the resource pack in the latest version of Minecraft, which is 1.16.5 at the time of this video, we'll make a resource pack for this version. So now we just have to open 1.16.5 and you'll see a jar file and a JSON file. Now this jar file contains all the assets in Minecraft for code, data packs, and resource packs. So with this jar selected, we right click it, go to 7-zip once it's installed, then click Extract Files. Then just click OK. And then wait for this. And there we go. Now we have a folder, 1.16.5. Once we go in it, you'll see a lot of files. So you can just delete everything by hitting Ctrl A, but then Ctrl clicking Assets. So it deselects Assets, and then we just click Delete. Because we don't need all these files, we just want Assets. Now, with your Assets folder, just open it up, go to Minecraft, Textures, Block, and here are all the block textures. You can go back, and you'll find Item as well. Here's some entity stuff. So now we have all the assets. Next we need to go to our resource pack folder. Open up another instance. Then you can go to the top. This is just another way of going to dot minecraft. Percent app data percent backslash dot minecraft backslash resource packs or we can just go to dot minecraft normally and find the folder resource packs. Go in here. Here's my texture pack if you want to download it. And now that you're in your resource packs folder, all you have to do is right click, new, folder. And now you can name the pack whatever you want. Let's just call this the cheese pack. Brilliant, I know. Now once we're inside cheese pack, we're going to create the same file structure as 1.16.5. So in here will be assets. Then inside that will be Minecraft. Then in there will be textures. Then in there will be blocks and items. Block and item. We'll add more folders along the way once we change something in that category. But for now we don't need the other folders yet. Another thing you could do actually is give this a colored name. Somewhere is a thingy, here it is. So here's dark red, so we've got like that thingy in four. Copy that, cheese pack. Actually. It's cheese, isn't it? Should look like cheese. There we go, and my word. Alright, so that should have a colored name, cheese pack. I've made it that thing six, so there should be gold. Now I have to start up Minecraft for further demonstration. A little later. And here we are, Minecraft. So right now I've got my texture pack loaded, so I'm just gonna unload it. There we go, vanilla Minecraft. So here's our cheese pack in the resource packs folder, but it's not showing up. But that's when we add a bit of code to our resource pack to tell Minecraft that the pack exists. And because I don't remember the code all that well, I'm just gonna copy and paste. Now essentially what you want to do is create a file called pack.mcmeter. If you don't see file extensions, you want to go to view and toggle file name extensions up here. Very important. Now with Notepad++, it will make it much easier to access files and programming them and all that stuff. But you can use generic notepad. But notepad++ is just nicer. It's got two more pluses. But for real though, the program is really useful when coding. Now we type in the code to get Minecraft to recognize our texture pack. 
And I've seen for other operating systems, you might have to change the preferences to UTF-8 so that the code can be recognized properly in the correct formatting. But this is Windows, it will just use that anyways. All right, so we just put in an opening curly bracket and then a closing curly bracket. We press enter twice, and now we've just put stuff inside it. You can press tab to create a good space, then put in two quotes, and in between them you put in pack, then a colon, then two more curly brackets, and open them up. Press tab again, then two quotes, pack, underscore format. Now this is important for Minecraft to know which version the pack is in. Not what update version the resource pack is, it's what version this pack will work in what Minecraft version. Did I say that right? Basically, put in version 6 for Minecraft 1.16, or version 5 to 4 1.15, version 4 for 1.14, 3 for 13, etc, etc, etc. But it gets a little more complicated than that, so you might as well just search it online. But I know, 6 is 1.16, so let's move on. So now we put in a comma for the next statement, then two quotes, description, colon, two quotes. Now here's where we add the description of the pack. Now this pack is about cheese, so we just type in, well, this pack is about cheese. I will leave all the code in the description if you're feeling lazy. Now with all this code set up, we just have to go into Minecraft. And immediately we can see it. Plus the color of our text is well, colored, because we have these thingies. And I do believe these do work in the description as well. Indeed it does. So that's all the code we need for this file. So we can close out of that. And now let's load the resource pack. Now it loads really quickly because there's literally nothing in it. Now I'm going to go to a Minecraft world, which I make my resource packs in. And there we go, we have the pack running, there's nothing in it yet. But Minecraft is detecting it. So now the next thing we're going to do is add in an icon for a pack. So now let's open up paint.net. Search paint.net. Control N for new and do 128 pixels by 128 pixels and make sure maintain aspect ratio is off because it's annoying like seriously 256 what is this number yeah turn it off 128 by 128 and now you can draw whatever you want on here at the top left we have some tools to select this is well this is the selector tool then right next to it is the move tool that will move the selection. And control Z to undo the edit, or you can just click up here to the last known, well, thing. So we've got control Z, and we have the control of the control Z, which is control Y. Then we have the wand tool to select specific colors with a tolerance level. A text tool with some options on the top. I'm just going to put in cheese, make the text a little larger with the scroll wheel. Oh, and we do have the basic paintbrush tool, the pencil tool which draws in pixels. We will use this tool to make textures. And then we have the paint bucket which I rarely use. And at the bottom left is our color palette. We select a color, and it changes that color. Then you can press X to choose the other side, and maybe this one is blue. Oh wait, we have to select this, and that's red, that's blue. So now left click is red, and right click is blue. Yay. And you know what, this is going to be the icon for our resource pack. Anyway, this is our final result. Now I can just do Control Shift S to give it a new location to save it to. Percent app data percent backslash dot minecraft backslash source packs backslash yeah, cheese pack there we go now we just do pack dot png then you click save and save again now we can close out of this and go to our real pack and see there we go pack icon and now we go into minecraft <laughs> Beautiful.
And that is the end of this video where we just covered the basic setup of setting up a resource pack. So we have a colored name, a colored description, beautiful icon, and some epic code. And that is the end of episode 1. In episode 2 I'll show you how to change the textures of blocks, items, entities, the sun. You can do quite a bit with this. And if you have any further questions you can join my discord server, link in the description. Alright, and I'll see you in the next episode.